now that you don't get to live a bad life and have good things happen to you. Red Dead Redemption, people. We have spent the better part of the first half of this year, first quarter of this year, playing Red Dead Redemption games, and it's almost over. Or at least today it's going to be over for me because I'm beating the rest. Like, I'm beating everything today. Meaning I'm playing Red Dead Revolver today. I'm beating the Red Dead Nightmare today. I'm beating Red Dead Redemption today. I'm beating all that today. So today's my last day with this. I'm done. <laughs> Do I have to say again, I'm wearing jeans. I don't wear jeans. This is, look, look at this, look at this. That's how high I can go. This, nice. Oh! But yeah, today we are finally beating Red Dead Redemption 1, man. It's been a great journey. And to know that we only have one more game left kind of sucks. But it's like, you know. I don't know. I, don't, I actually don't know. I don't, I don't know. I know I didn't like the first half, but it came through at the end. A lot of people told me it was slow and they were right. Uh, maybe if I played this game first, I wouldn't really care. But I feel like after playing the second one, all I really wanted to see was the characters from the second one and the first one. So that probably that's probably the main reason I didn't like half of the characters at the start. But I do mess with Seth. I don't like his hands, but I do mess with Seth as a person. His fingers, they need help. Puerto Rico. I don't know why I did that. I just wanted, I wanted to use it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look at Rufus. Yeah, I don't think I forgot about you. I had to suck all that venom at your butthole. Yes. I mean your butt, I mean. What you cooking? Same I don't want it. Cooking the past 50 I don't want it. Poison in you. Ain't working so well. <laughs> Not yet. I'll be honest though. Tastes bad enough to kill a man. I never was much of a cook, but I did try to be a good wife. And you have been. <laughs> Given what we was and what we came from, I think we've gone and done okay. I look at Jack, I look at him, and I think we've been blessed. Maybe he can be something more. He's a good kid. He can be whatever he wants to be. He ain't gonna be no frontier gunslinger killing and running those gang, though. <laughs> That way's over. I hope not. Railroads and government and motor cars and everything gone and done away with all that. And he ain't gonna marry no orphaned working girl running with a bunch of hucksters, neither. If he meets one like you, I hope he'll marry her. Aww. Yeah. For an illiterate gunslinger, you sure know how to make a girl blush. <laughs> God damn, Crows! John! Can, can we have a moment? You have got to go deal with them? They've broken into the side. Uh, don't sweat that ammo. I'm eating all the corn out from it. Of course, my angel. Wait, get out of there. All right, all right. Go on. Scat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, why is there so many crows? Uh, scare the crows. Okay. Boom. 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 Are they scared? Oh, no. I'm gunning them down. Wait, wait. They're not afraid. Hold up, shotgun time. Sharpshooter rank nine. I forgot all about the ranks, bro. I just stopped caring. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, perfect shy. Straight in there. Dang, look at all the brothers and sisters that died. Now about that stew. You know you don't want to eat that. That was the mission. Oh, what's up, little boy? How you doing? Shut up, you ugly. I said, how you doing? 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 I actually don't know how many more uh, missions we have. We got a telegram from some lady friend of yours, a Bonnie something or other. Something you ain't telling me? Oh, bro. Bonnie McFarland. She's a friend. Oh my. Mm. Saved my life when I went after Bill and nearly got myself killed again. Oh, now you two's in the habit of sending each other love. I know you're not jealous. Very nice. It weren't nothing like that. What's it say? I don't know. I can't. Well, you know I can't read. Hey, this nigga can't fucking read! Hey, he can't, hey, he can't read! You read that thing out loud? Bro. Nothing. My hat falling apart and Dear stuff. Mr. Marston, stop. stop. Need corn sacks. Stop. Stop. 
Emergency. Stop. Stop. Weevils and moths ate entire county supply. Stop. Stop. Can you help? Not exactly the most romantic request, now, is it? I guess not. And she saved your life, you say? Yes, ma'am. Well, then you're gonna have to help her and her family out. We've got a plentiful supply of corn sacks over near the silo. Oh, by the one thing Uncle didn't manage to have stolen while we was gone. Okay. Hurry back, John. And John, what's she like? Better than you. Well, you know. I mean... A little bit like you, I guess. She's all right. She's a woman in a man's world. She's cool. <laughs> Get out of here! Get out of here! John, wait! Maybe I should meet this McFarlane woman. Look at the jealousy. We better hurry. We have a conversation, or am I about to speed run this? I don't think I can let you go out oh. here without me. Fair enough. I'm glad of the company. You only had to ask. Ask? I was waiting for you to ask me. I thought you'd want to keep an eye on the boy. Oh, while you were off supporting with cowgirls in the next county? I don't think so, John Marston. You only just got home. That Jack has seen enough of me for a lifetime. So, is she married? This Bonnie McFarland? No. What does she look like? I don't know. Pretty normal as She's normal. cute. What? Normal like me? No. Normal as in two eyes, a mouth, nose, that kind of normal. Besides, ain't no woman fine as you. A little flattery. Now we're finally getting somewhere. If you find yourself in a hole, the first thing to do is stop digging. Another pearl of I feel like I've heard that before. I sure do miss those. I never took you for the jealous type, Abigail. I ain't jealous so much as curious. Oh, we have these landed. Hold up. Know. It's just some corn. She saved my life. Hey, Abigail, duck real quick. So I owe her this much at least. How did she save your life anyway? She found me half dead on the side of the road and took me to the doctor. Most folks would have left me there. Half dead from what? Bill didn't take so kindly to be visiting on him now. Bill never did he didn't get shot. Right. Okay. How was he? Same as he was when we left. Angry and dumb. Taking his revenge out on the world. People down there were really scared of him. Uh, Bill? You gotta be kidding me. You didn't see what he did, Abigail. Bill weren't so bad, but when Dutch went crazy, Bill took it hard. For a while, we all thought we'd found something right. Better way to live. But it was just a lie. So you saw before they did. Maybe. But they was still kind of a family. A family that left you for dead. You knew the truth, John. And they hated you for it. That scene in the barn. Oh my. Government bastards. I can't even show that. I ain't sure. They kept their eyes covered there and back. Can't have been too far from here, though. They treat you right? It ain't the first time I've had a gun to my head, John. You're forgetting your marriage proposal. All right. No, they learned pretty quick what would happen if they laid a finger on me. Sons of bitches. It wasn't them or being there. I didn't care about that. I've been in far worse situations. It was the wait. I didn't know if you was coming back. Of course I was coming back. You were only supposed to be gone for a couple of days. How long was I gone for? You guys were there for three months? It took longer than I thought. I think we should pick up the pace a little. I'm trying to hear the conversation. When Dutch was ever any good at was not getting caught. Get those horses loose. Abigail. I started thinking you'd gone back to them. That life's over. I hope you're right. Bill, Javier, Dutch, they're all dead. You don't well, we don't know if Javier's dead. There's a high chance he is, though. Hello, Bonnie. Thank you so much. We lost the entire harvest. Miss McFarland, I'd like you to meet my wife, Abigail. Oh, ain't you quite the gentleman all of a sudden? It's a pleasure to meet you, Mrs. Marston. Likewise, thank you for saving my husband's life and for teaching the miserable old goat some manners, among other things. I didn't teach him anything. I know better than to try to change a man. You should meet my father. Oh, people can change, Miss McFarlane. John and I have to believe.
believe that more than anybody. This is a decent first harvest for you, Dennis. Is... You should be proud. That's good land you got there. I don't know why I think they have the same exact haircut. I think I'm tripping. Your husband told me it must have been awful for you. I've been through worse, and I knew he'd be back before too long. He can't cook a meal to save his life. I promise you, I'd rather eat. In my darkest hours, mm. when I was most homesick, just the thought of one of your rat meat stews kept me pushing forward. Well, about as amusing as a weeping saddle sore, ain't he, Miss McFarland? If you're gonna start yammering about women's work, John. I'd say you might be in the wrong company. I'd say so too. I never felt so outnumbered. Dang. Hey man, you know I know somebody perfect for you, Bonnie, you know. Then it starts with a C, you know? He's a good guy. Look at Bonnie. The savior of this whole series. Ma'am. And look at him with his poop on the back of his butt. You gotta go back to that, Bonnie. I'm sorry. So that was the famous Bonnie. That was mm -hmm. her, all right. She's pretty. She's normal, like I said. Well, you always wanted to be a rancher. I'd have thought she'd be just your thing. She is. Perfect rancher's wife. But you know, we got you. I already got a rancher's wife. I just stop doing that, bro. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm glad she saved your life. Most of the time, anyway. The McFarlands are good people. She did blush better than a shepherd's sunset when she saw you, though. I have that effect on women. You've clearly had one too many blows to the head. You ain't wrong about that, Mrs. Marston. That's quite a ranch they got there. That'll be us someday. As soon as we get back on our feet. I don't know, John. How many times can we start again? An outlaw and a working girl. We ain't exactly farmers. We are now. Forget that life. It's over. Do you really believe that? We have to. It's the only way we'll ever have a future. The life we led, that doesn't go away. It's never over. You think those government men are just gonna leave us alone now? The old gang did Duck you. I did what they asked. And that's it? The life is proud for killing? We're back together, ain't we? Till they decide you owe them something else. Sometimes I think I was the stupid one for believing I could get out. Maybe Dutch, Bill, and Javier were just being honest with themselves. Have you forgotten where we live? You ain't perfect, John. Girl, shut up. I'm trying to keep us alive. But you're better than they are. Than they were. Maybe we can't change. But we gotta try, for Jack's sake. Even if we have to start again a hundred times. It's better than going back to what we were. How's Jack doing? Angry, upset. He's been through a lot. I hope he's gonna be all right. It's gonna take time. For a while, his world was safe, normal even. Then it got turned upside down again. He ain't saying much about it. I've tried to talk to him, but how do you explain any of it? What do you say when he asks about Uncle Bill and Uncle Dutch? They were family when he was a little boy. He hides away in those books. And I did. Wouldn't you? It ain't like the real world's done him many favors. He's just been kidnapped. He grew up with the gang. That's no lie for a boy. Oh, there's a wolf. best to protect him. Come on, John. He saw things no boy should see. Well, now we got a chance to make it right. <sighs> yes, we do. Actually, I'm going to do the Jack mission after this now. Just because of that, I'm going to do the Jack mission after this. I just thought about it. You can't fish in this game. Stay, John. You can't even swim. I guess I better go fix us something to eat. Mm-mm. I ain't coming. Look at him. Oh. Oh. Why? Why? What? Why does that baby small so much? She just said a little. And then, oh, that was so cute. Uncle just took the craziest dump of his life, and now he's walking back. Your family member is not here right now. Come back later. Look at Jack. I'm not waiting for him then. Uncle, what's up? Ugh, I can smell you. Did you wipe? Hell no. You sting. And then he go lay down all in his poo. Uncle, get up. Ugh. I don't like this, Uncle. I don't like this, Uncle. Get up, old man. I, I am up. Get up. Oh. Oh. 
There, I'm up. Well, thank the good Lord you're back. Nothing worse for an old man than sleeping in the warm afternoon sun. You want a long sleep, Uncle? That can be arranged. It'll cost me less than food. Why are we threatening an Uncle? He was a hard and nasty man, John Marston. You always was a useless, conniving thief. What is... And where's them cattle? You take them to pasture? It's coming around to that. When exactly? It's easy to pick on the elderly. It's easy, but it ain't dignified. Come on, old man. We'll do this together. What is this hostility between them two? I thought we were friends. Go. You little stupid cow. Get moving. Come on, let's get him out the pasture. Okay, this is going a lot smoother than before. Maybe it's just because we're in here, but it's going a lot smooth. And then look at that stupid. Okay, okay, okay. You, you fixed that real quick. Look at him going to the left. Get back in line. I don't know why I want to play Red Dead Revolver so bad. Like after this, like I was going to play Red Dead or Nightmare, whatever it's called. I actually remember playing that when I was little. I think I played Red Dead Nightmare more than I played like the normal Red Dead. I was going to play that though, like right after this, but I really just want to play. <laughs> I just want to play Red Dead Revolver. Just in case I don't get all of it done today, I at least want to record and beat Red Dead Revolver today. Because that game actually looks hilarious. God damn it! What? What the heck? Oh, dang, <laughs> look at Uncle. Wait! Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Look at this cow! What? Decide whether to stay with the herd or stop the outlaws. That ain't my problem. Kill it! What what do you want me to do? Uncle! Is that uncle? Oh, that's not uncle. I'm like, what? What's your luck, John? I had enough fighting battles that ain't mine. Thanks. Literally, I'm not doing that. Easy. They give me a choice to fight or not? I'm not fighting. I'm a peaceful man. I own a ranch. I'm a farmer. I'm a good freaking guy. This is the life I fought for. To live peacefully with my family. Herding cows. Hey, hey, I will shoot you. I will shoot you where I stand. Get back in the line. Where did the other two go? Did they die? They definitely didn't die. I guess two got away. This, okay, this one keep, he think he's slick. He gonna die. Tabitha, oh my gosh. Why would they allow me to do that? Why do they allow you to shoot your own horse? Now I got this random black horse. You look after the herd. I'll ride back. No thanks. You got your pound of flesh from me today. What? You just leave me? Come here. Uh-uh. 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 Uncle, get back here. Yup. You gonna walk back. You gonna walk back. You go. You go. You gonna walk back. Have fun walking back. If my horse dead, your horse dead. Loser. All right, now that I'm done with that mission, uh. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Look at Uncle, bro, back at his tree. I'm pretty sure he had a mission with, uh. At this tree, right? Yeah, Another game? Man. There's some Mustangs and some such out there beyond that ridge. Wondering if it was worth getting you and going around some of them up. Fair enough. We're nearly out of money. Ranch is in turmoil. We may not make it through the winter. What could we possibly want with some good quality? Bro, why are you so mean to him? That tone of voice ain't so becoming on you. Makes you seem all pent up and angry like some black water would be business tycoon with a bad case of hemorrhoids. <coughs> I'll give you a bad case if someone just shot me in the head if you don't hurt. Like why? What are all these threats for? What did Uncle do to you? Are you gonna mount up, kid? My fault, Uncle. <clears throat> Come here, Uncle. Don't run. Don't run. You're rough me. Alright, let's get after him. Let's do it. 
Come on. So mean to uncle consistently. He took them. Mm. I'm not gonna lie. He did roast them. But like, you gotta, Why you gotta grow up. So biggity all the damn time. What happened to what you? What were you gonna do? Just look at them horses all day? Well, God forbid I do anything. He's like 70, bro. Check him with his royal highness first. Yeah, you're real good at watching. That's about all you're good for, apart from bending your elbow. I can't do right for doing wrong. Come on, we're gonna lose them. Okay, my fault. I'm not gonna lie. I can't wait to take these jeans off. Let's go. It's been like 30, 40 minutes already. These jeans hurt. They don't hurt, but like my legs sweating. Look, there they are. All right, let's get one of these. I didn't even aim at that one. Come here. There we go. Let's go. Back on my horse. He leaving. He leaving. Okay, nice stuff, Uncle. Oh, I gotta get another one. My dog farted. I can smell it. Mmm, it's stank in my room. Lumbago. Has he even talked about lumbago yet? Is this, is that just not brought up? Get down off there. What? Uncle. Might as well see if you Shut get us another up. one. Hold on, Uncle. You might be a little strong taking two horses at once. What? Pause. Don't fall off. Thank you, Uncle. That's going to help me so much. Whoa, there. I think that's enough for now. Let's get him back to the ranch. Go on, Uncle. A Beatrice Hope. Beatrice Hope. I don't know why that name just sounds so fire. I learned a few things while I was away. Anything you wanted to know, you only had to ask me. You? What the hell do you know about any of this? I was a rancher myself back in the day. Firstly, I don't believe you. And secondly, if you was, why have you been hiding it all these years? You act like I never do anything. Oh, we can get another. I do plenty. You're asleep half the day. And the other half, you're so drunk you couldn't hit the ground with your hat in three throws. I taught you a few things, John Marston. Like how to steal beer when the bartender's not looking and piss without taking down your pants. All useful skills, partner. <laughs> Look at these here horses. Fine as cream gravy. It sure will be nice to have some money in our pocket. How much money we get? money we make going straight back into this ranch, not down your gullet. Oh, come on. I ain't working for free here. You ain't working at all. That's the problem, old man. What about today? And all them cattle I heard it. I'm always stuck in the kid around here. You got food in your belly, ain't you? Make sure there's enough oh, dang. hay. We need to keep them strong. All right. Damn, a little gratitude wouldn't kill you. No, thank you. Dang, John. Not a bad day's work. How are you? Hundred dollars. All right, Jack. You're up next. Whoa, whoa. What the heck? Why are there wolves on our land? That's it. Right there we go. Wait, Jack. 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 Jack, please stop. No. Wait, can I still do the mission? Jack. Jack, what are you doing? Jack, what? Jack, what are you doing? Where did you get that gun? Jack. No escape. Rufus, I saw that. Rufus. Jack, your mother's coming at the door. Don't shoot. Here we go. I'm Marston and his son. Why are they going so quick? I can barely read them. Usually it takes like a good five seconds. It don't give What's me like look, one boy? second maximum now. Uh, nothing, sir. What's it about? Well, it's an adventure, sir. Um, set out in the west, 
and it tells this amazing story of how people killed the savage Redskins and how this man, this brave man, hunts the man who killed his father. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Talking of adventure, how'd you like to learn to track elk? He don't want to do that. Big ones in the valley this time of year. He want to read his book. Leave him alone. Well, I I know you'd rather read your adventures. Trust me, this can be very enjoyable in its own way. I suppose maybe it's a little less dramatic. <laughs> so let's go. Come on. You may get to see me get gored by some massive wild beast. Then you can write a story about that. Very funny, Paul. I've forgotten how funny you was. Grab your things. Hey, man, I'm trying to get a beer like John, you know? All I got is this. Look at this. This is all I got. See, I turned 18. I was like, you know what? I'm about to get a beer instantly. No. Uh-uh. Come on, bro. When does it come in? I'm 18 now. Where does the beard come in? What if I'm just gonna be like, I'm Dante? Yeah. I want a beard. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, there's, there's no way. No. When he finds something, you stay back and I'll show you how to make a kill. Whatever you say, sir. You sure you're ready for this? I guess so. Now the trick to hunting is calm and patience. Look at Rufus! Why he move like that? Rifle helps, doesn't it? Elk don't stand still, son. He moves like. <laughs> Why he move like that? Rufus is not real. It's Octodad, but with a dog. Yo, I remember when everybody was playing Octodad. I'm about to watch that after I get done recording. I'm gonna put that on my phone just to make sure I don't forget. Should we play Octodad on the channel? Is that even a name, Octodad? It is the name. 10 years ago. Yo, you guys trying to see a full Octodad playthrough in 2024 by Jax himself? The one that is... Ooh, I can put a suit on? Hey, bro, Octodad? I don't know. Hey, that's up to you guys. This is the first time you've taken me, honey. There's lots of things I ain't done with you. Look at He's not real. Make up for that. Come on. You don't seem too excited about this. What do you want me to say, Paul? Yippee? Are you sure you're all right? I mean, I know all that business must have been hard on you. It wasn't nothing. I'm not a kid anymore. Well, you are still a kid. kid. I feel like a kid. Until the next time, you mean? There won't be a next time. Look, you picked up a scent. Come on. Don't make no more promises, Paul. I've heard them all before. Dang, what did I do to you? Or I, I guess I left for a couple of years. No, was it one year or was it two? I, I left for I left when you were little. You know, then they took you away. You can't blame me for that. You know, one time yes, I you can. A up in tall trees. You never seen a bigger animal in all your life. I read this story about a girl who was raised by wolves and she'd hunt goats with them and everything. Sounds like a tall yarn to me. Taller than a boy being taken from his home and locked up in a dungeon? I like can't talk to some people. They do stuff like this. You make a joke and they bring real life into it. Bruh, can, can we laugh? Jack, there's one up ahead. Yeah, Where? I see it. This one's mine. Stay with me, son. Boom. Boom. Man, damn. That's how you do it, son. Extra shot for, you know, measures. Come on. I'll show you how to cut the meat. Just how you do it, you know. Was gonna go away. That was great, Paul. Now you get a right. Wait for the right shot. Not rush it. Mm. That's a big one. Yeah. This meat should fetch a decent price in Manzanita. Manzanita. Hope you were watching. It'll be your turn next. Go on, Rufus. Easy. You can't stop now, old man. Oh, I'm on my phone with you. I'm just... There you go. Gotta... Ready to take a shot, Jack? Of course, Paul. Remember, it's all about timing. Wait for your moment. Don't snatch it. I know, I know. I saw how you did it. If you say so. All right. When he finds him, you take the lead. Come on. Go on, boy. Found, Rufus. Crazy, like oh. all this, like 
everything we done in the first game or the second game and now the first game just led up to this just spending time with my son Come on. and my wife and uncle Yo. what you got for us rufus you can do it rufus whoa look they're over there where that's it son i want to watch him do it hold up Okay. Okay, put him down. Don't rush him. He do one? Kill one. Okay. Now I'm gonna handle rest. Get that one. Get that one. Get him. He ain't moving. Oh my gosh, son, you suck. Guess you'll be walking from now on. You saw how I cut the meat, Jack. Now it's your turn. How do I do that twice in one video? And look at Rufus sniffing its butt. What are you growling at? It's dead. I'm telling you Rufus isn't real. Rufus is not real. He's not real. He in the booty sheets. He licking all up in it. Don't act, oh, don't act like you switch. Oh no, I know what you was doing. I couldn't imagine doing something like this, bro. I'm too squirmish. I probably would throw up the first time. Probably the first couple times. Maybe after the fifth time, I'd be like, okay, I can handle this. Probably after the fifth time, I'd be used to it. And then it wouldn't be nothing. But that first time, seeing all the guts, the nastiness come out. Now come on, let's get this meat over to the trading post at Manzanita. Is Tabitha still? That is nope. not tapped with that. Did you see me? You did good, son. Can we shoot some more? Only Dang. What you need. We'll go out again soon. Rufus, shut up. I didn't think I was gonna like it. I told you you'd have fun, didn't I? Man, see the post. All right, here we are. Okay. Okay. Jack, you wait here. I'll be just a moment. Throw the elk meat at the store. Always happy to see a customer. What's up, man? Every day. Now, do I gotta sell all my meat? Where is it, elk? Cause I don't want to sell all my. Here, you take one. Take one of these two, and I'll be on my day. Who's Oscar? Oh, bro. Nope, they want me to sell it all. I don't even. I don't know why I'm being like this. I don't even need the meat. Here, take the meat. Bye there. 600? I didn't know the gold cost this much. Gordo's heart? Oh my gosh, I have so much money. I have $180 in grizzly fur. Yo, what the heck? Okay, okay, let me just sell the elk skin. I don't remember hunting that much. How much did you make? Never you mind. Enough to keep Rufus out of the stewing pot for a couple days. And what about me? What do I get? You get to eat, son. But I did half the work. That isn't fair. What can I say? I'm another corrupt landowner. Come on. I'll be rich one day, then you'll see. Okay. I hope so. Then you can look after us when we get old. What do you mean, get old? You are old. All right, bro. You ain't old. Uncle's old. Well, he should be in a museum. Yeah, preserved in whiskey for the next thousand years. So. You enjoy your first hunting trip? It was great, Paul. Herding cows, hunting elk. You're growing up. I'm proud of you. I always told you I wanted to help. You know, you and me, we work hard. We can make something of this farm. I'd like that. And thank you for looking after your mother. She said you were very brave. I tried to be strong, like you told me. But Ma, well, she can look after herself. She soon put those fellas in their place. I can only imagine. Yeah. All this work, bruh. Yeah. All this work led up to this. Oh, Paul, that was so much fun. I can't really believe it. Just like in the books. We'll do it again soon. Now get to your chores. You got chores? Dang, it's in the middle of the night. Dude, 
Are you, did I do something to you? Bro, I know I'm not the only one that saw uncle just standing there. John, you good, Jack? I'm back between 5 a.m. and 6 p.m. Guess we all going to sleep now. Wait, really? Wait, what is that? Gazebo? Is that what you call that? A gazebo. Huh. Play cards over here? Dang, I never really got to explore. What the heck? Okay. Little shed. Did it got all this in the other game? I don't remember this. What's up, partner? Hey, get your feet off the desk. Feet off the table. What's up, girl? Hey, hey, how you doing? It's in the pot. Uh, ew. Ew, what is that? Hey, don't try to walk away. That is nasty. Okay. She might not be real either. I don't think she's real. She just, she still has shoes on. Look at her. Look at this girl. She's not real. Is that Jack? What the heck? Yo, that scared me. What are you even shooting at? I literally don't have time to read those. I'm, I, I'm not even gonna think about it no more, bro. You're tensing up. I'm not. You are. Your back's tense and it's making the rifle jump. You're holding it wrong. Here, let me show you. I don't need you to show me, Paul. I guess not. Don't show me and you'll just, just run off again or something. What? I teach myself. I ain't going nowhere. Whatever you say, Paul. Don't be like that. Sorry. What is this come? What? Did we not just have fun just last? After the herd. Got to get out there and scare them off. You want to come with me? Safer with two. Okay. What just happened? Why Why did you just do a 180? What did I do to you? All I ever did was love you. All right, let's go. Stay on Rufus now. Pa, what are you doing? What are you doing? Dang, look at him running again. He's not real. Hit that bird. Hey, watch it. I swear, Jack, you pushing me to the edge, bro. I can shoot, and you know that. Why you gotta treat me like a kid? Because you are one. You know what fathers do? I'm just trying to look out for you. You can't just decide to be a father when it suits you. What about the rest of the time? What? Come on, Jack. That ain't exactly fair. One minute you're telling me to be a man, the next you're telling me I'm just a boy. It's gonna take a while for things to get back to normal. Normal? Was it ever normal? Where is this? I don't know, but it'll get better, son. I promise. What? What? Did I do? What did I do? I'm sorry, Paul. You don't need to be. I don't mean to be moody. I'm glad you're home. I, I really am. It's just every time you go off, well, I worry you're not coming back. I swear, if it was down to me, I'd never have gone anywhere. They can't make you, can they? Uh-uh. Complicated. Yes, they can. Yes, they can. Yeah, I know. I wouldn't understand. I didn't say that. You start, have to be finished. Never did like first. <laughs> what was your father like? I didn't really know him. He died when I was just a boy. Come on, he's picked up a scent. It's like, bro, I just spent like a month in Mexico fighting a war to get you guys back. And this is how I get treated? Is uncle really your uncle? No, at least I sincerely hope not. He's probably lots of people's father though. Well, why do you call him uncle then? Folks always did. Hey, he's getting freaky. Probably because he's always been older than everybody else. He was old when I was a kid. He was old when I was a kid, son. God must have had some purpose for keeping him on this earth. I sure as hell don't know what that is. Go on, Rufus. Uncle really hasn't aged. Uncle has been the same age for centuries. Come on, easy up now. Bro, why do you why are you so awkward? That's a good kill. Nice stuff. There you go. Come on, Rufus. Where are the others, boy? Don't give up now. Look at how he's moving. He's moving like a blade blade. Rufus isn't real. How many times are I gonna tell you guys that? It's an alien in disguise. Here we go again. Uh. 
Maybe for bunnies, rabbits. We'll go out again soon. Catch something nice for your mother cook. I reckon I could kill a bear, no problem. I ain't gonna tell you, man, Jack. You don't leave the farm without checking with me first. You hear? Yes, sir. I hear you. You don't tell somebody that. Now you gonna do that? You don't tell a kid that. Can I ask you something? What's up? Of course. Were you a murderer? What? <laughs> what? I shouted at a guard one time, and he yelled that you were a murderer. Maybe, but I live my life believing there's a difference between killing and murdering. Not for the person who's dead. No, and I guess I've been both. Can you get up close to me so we can talk? We all do what we have to to survive. But sometimes it ain't pretty, and in the end, we pay the price for what we did. Come on, we can't stop now. Bro, then get close. Why do I have to hear you like this? Exactly. Look, when I was a kid, things were different. Rules were different, but that's over now. Like, I'm trying to talk to you without screaming. What? All we did was kill a few wolves. I read a book about a father and son who robbed banks. One arm willing. That was his name. One arm willing. I'll help you with my two arms, if you don't mind. Just imagine it, though. John and Jack Marston. Those wanted men in the way. Dude, stick to your books. What about your mom? Well, I mean, we still come home. You live in a dream world. It ain't like they tell it in books. And it ain't no way to live life. It was ugly and brutal. All right, jeez. I was only joking around. You'll have a farm of your own. You can read and write. Don't waste your life, son. Dude, no, he was joking. <laughs> Hey, when people do that, make a joke and it turn into a life lesson. Oh, heck no. I got PTSD, bro. My fault. I saw. Wait, why? I saw so many people were just instantly put out my gun. Let's go. The bunker bed. Oh, we got some horses on the property. Oh, we got a couple of them. We can get them. You turned into a decent hunter, son. But try to stay out of trouble. I go read a book. What was that side eye? Why do they all do that? I just thought about it. Does Red Dead Nightmare have side missions? I hope they don't. Am I obligated to do them all since I did all the Red Dead ones? Kinda. And what about the Red Dead Revolver? Does that have side missions? No. Am I obligated to do them all? Yeah. Dang. Thinking about that kind of hurts. <laughs> John. John. What is it, old Ugh, Look how you run. The kid. The kid. Well, I just saw him out in the valley. Seems your tail's a hunt and got the better of him. He said he was going up to the pass, track down that grizzly that's been seen up there. Kid can't hunt a grizzly. Thing will eat him alive. I know. I tried to stop him. But you're worthless as a lawyer at a lynch. Damn you, old man. This is my son. Bro, what did he do? I wish it was you that bear. Why? Taking out your anger on uncle. This isn't his fault. Come on. Imagine this side of the game ends. Jack dies. Rufus, move. Oh my gosh, that'd be the most depressing ending. Oh, I hope that's not the ending. Oh my gosh. I'm getting sad thinking about that. Yeah, Rufus. And if it's to a bear, it's like you can't get no revenge. What is it, Rufus? What you gonna do? Kill the bear? Go there. <laughs> he was hunting the bear. Jack, where are you? Ah, ah, ah. 
Oh snap! Help me! I'm hurt! Jack! Stay down! Look at your little dumb self! What are you doing? Don't move! Keep your head down! Okay, that's one way to handle it. Oh, look at his neck and his body. What the hell were you thinking? Oh, we trying to get your own, <laughs> trying to get your own scar. I can skin an elk, break horses. Come on, let's get you home. A little goofy, so look at you. Did he beat you up? He didn't even try to eat you. He just wanted to. <laughs> he just wanted to harm you. Now hold tight. Where's Rufus at? You all right? Yeah, I think so. You're lucky to be alive. You Where's Rufus? Boy. What did I tell you about going off by yourself? I go off by myself plenty. You just don't know about it. You're never around. Yo. So this is my fault? You disobeyed me. I was trying to prove myself. Prove what? By getting yourself killed? I didn't know this. Telling me I read too many books. <laughs> that I'm not a real man. I never said that. I just thought if I could do something you'd like, maybe you wouldn't go away again. Why would I like so, that? I ain't going anywhere. And believe me, neither are you for a real long time. What's your mother gonna say? Oh, your mom gonna... Oh, is she gonna whoop you? I ain't angry. I'm disappointed. She gonna beat your behind. I don't like that again. All right, all right. I told you I was sorry. What would have happened if I hadn't come along? I don't know. Oh, this tree I'm definitely on it. Why it look like this? A pile of bones right now. What would you care? I'm just a nuisance to you, anyway. Oh, brother. That ain't true, Jack. I'd do anything for you. You know that. I guess there's only room for one hero in this family. Okay, I just want to ride as quick as possible because I don't want to hear this right now. There's only room for one hero in the family. Shut up. Read a book. Going after a grizzly? What were you thinking? You've only been hunting twice. Like literally. I'm not a little kid anymore. What were you doing at my age? Bad things. Things nobody should do. But your mom and me, we didn't have what you have. Yeah, yeah, I know. I should be grateful. I'm not asking you to be grateful. I'm asking you to do what I say before you get yourself killed. Keep going, Paul. I want to get home. I'm trying to hear this conversation. There's always one set of rules. See, now I didn't hear it because yo, now, the, now look at Tabitha. This is your fault. I'm sorry I made you worry, Paul. Don't be too Go tell your mother what you did. Son. Ain't as much fun as it looks. Go tell your mother what you did. Bears, I'll take you. Go tell your mother what you did. Wrong way. Go back to the house. Tell what you tell your mother. This don't look like your mother, Jack. This look like a farm. She he dodging. <laughs> He's dodging them. Hey, Jack. Hey, Paul. Need a hand with that? Um, no, sir, I got it. Looks like you have. <laughs> well, you're real good with them tools. Thank you, Paul. You make this land real nice one day. Me and your mother will do our part. By the time your turn comes, hell, this could be the nicest farm in the county. Maybe, Paul. I don't think you want to do all that. You say you want to be a businessman? You don't want to be doing all this. Learn to shoot straight, or you'll get yourself eaten by some animal. Very funny, Paul. Thank you, son. Soon it'll be quail season. We should have some fun then. Is there anything you don't like shooting, Paul? Well, I ain't met the thing yet, but as soon as I do, I'll let you know. You can even put it in one of them books you read. Yeah, <laughs> maybe I'll do that the day John Marston stops shooting. Now, I ain't no literary man, but I don't think that'll sell. Ooh, People like shooting in them things. I think you may be right there, Paul. So, uh... Like an uncle. <laughs> you ever hear talk about them machines? <laughs> like an uncle. Fly? Well, sure, Paul. Everybody knows about that. You know they're going to be bringing one of those machines around the country next year for a demonstration? One of them machines can turn men into angels. One of them machines can turn men into angels. John! Oh, he's actually part of it. I thought he was just doing things. The way he was just staring at me. <laughs> Take a look at that. Jeff, what? Go into the house, lock all the doors. Whatever happens, don't come outside. You hear me? Whatever happens. Okay. 
Come here, son. Whatever happens, keep the doors locked and your mother inside. Promise me, son. Promise me. Who is it, Pa? It's just some old friends. Me and Uncle take care of it. Oh, don't tell me it's dumb. Inside and you keep the doors and the windows. Don't tell me it's the Pinkertons. Hear you. Then run. Yeah, run, boy. Well, old man, looks like things is about to get settled once and for all. So it seems. Christ alive! Oh my gosh! You to run, old man. I'll hold him here. You want to Oh my gosh, wait, wait, wait. I need better. Uncle's fighting! This is why we love Uncle. I'm about to die. Whoa, what is this cover? Let me get a rock. Yep. Oh, snap. He ain't hit nothing with that. Let's go. Bring more! Bring more! Send a little, a little bit of Pinkertons to attack me. What is that gonna do to me? What are we gonna do now? What's wrong? What's happened? <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> There'll be more coming. What are you doing? Are you helping? Rufus, go bite one of them. No, son. Whatever it is, it ends here. Hey. Okay, they are uh Jesus. Dang, Uncle! What? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, they're coming from the other side. Uncle! Okay, he's still alive. He's still alive. Don't worry. Don't worry. He's good. Yep. Bro, uncle. Hang in there, uncle. I'm gonna get Stop yelling at him. Hey, time, John. I ain't gonna make it off this porch. Anymore. Come on, uncle. You take Jack and Abby. <laughs> take them in. <coughs> Don't worry about me. Just get him out of here. No, uncle, please. <laughs> what the? Oh my God. <gasps> Shut up! <laughs> Nothing we can do for him now. Oh my God! They killed him. They should have killed you. We're leaving the farm. I'll watch from the silo. You two go to the barn. Get the horses ready. John. I'll meet you there. Uncle. Uncle's a real one, bro. All I want to see is R.I.P. Uncle. There's not enough time for this. Uncle. I'm not gonna lie, bro. If they had the same voice actor, that might have made me shed a tear. God damn it! Come on! I ain't getting no cover. I got medicine for days. Come on! Push me! Put your gun down, friend! Come on, let's head for the barn! Playing games. You kill Uncle, I kill you! There goes your horse. Uh-oh, stinky. Come 
on! Now! Quick! Run for it! Stay away from my family! Boom! 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 We're gonna end this together! All right, maybe I'm playing a little too aggressive. <laughs> All right, I got you guys back. My fault. I swim like a crackhead. That's my fault. Back it up, boy. Go, go, go. Now, quick, run for it. I don't care how many of you there are. Dang, his body just fell out. Goodbye, gentlemen. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Now listen. Jack, Narlin, get on this horse. Get out of here. Go find a place to hide. You're coming with us, Paul. I'll catch up. You keep riding and don't look back. And don't be worried about me, you hear? Sand is right here. Come on. You stay out of trouble, John. Ain't no trouble, Abigail. Ain't no trouble. I love you. I love you. Now go. Get. Damn, why you smack the butt so hard? Where's that look? Uh uh. Uh uh. Turn around. Turn around. 360. Let's turn around. Are you Are you serious? Hey guys. Wait, 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 wait! Oh my gosh. I'll use a... So many words for you, bro. So many. F Did you hear that? Jack, we have to go back for Pa. Let's go! Why are you stopping? I don't think we have time to rest. He a bitch. Taking a lot out of me not to like break something right now. No. Oh 
I'm gonna be, oh, brother, I don't even want to play. I know I'm stopping a lot. If I play Red Dead Revolver and that main character dies too, I'm not playing the next Red Dead. That's my promise right now to every person watching this. You can go shove that up your butt. Keister it if you want to. I don't care. It's like Oh bury me not oh, on the lone prairie where the coyotes wait. His uncle's grave there too and the wind blows free. Uncle and when I die don't bury me neath the western sky. On the lone Three ye At least there's uncles. Uncle don't even got a born date. Like they don't even know who he is. <laughs> they don't even know what uncle was born. That's how old uncle is. Are you three years? And this is Jack Marston? I need a breather. I'm fucking losing my fucking mind. Just look at Jack right now, bro. Think about this. I played through hundreds of hours of Red Dead Redemption games to lead up to this one character. Jack has literally nothing. He has no one. He has no friends. He has no family. He is stuck with Beecher's Hope in this Everybody ugly horse behind him. him. Everybody he knows and loves is dead. He has nothing. You know what's sick? I don't see a mission on my thing right now. I don't see a single mission. Stop this madness. What do you want from me? Ah, what do you want? Like what? Can I go talk to Bonnie or something? Got the doors wide open for. I'm so lonely. I don't wanna play this game anymore. <laughs> Why does everybody keep dying? Come out, come out! Ugh, and he sound weird. If I play Red Dead Revolver and he dies too, I'm not playing another Red Dead Redemption game. You think I'm joking. I don't care. Why does everybody die? And it seems like John just wanted to die. Which, okay, I can understand, you know? Setting your family free from the burden of your outlaw life, that makes sense. I can understand it. But Jesus, you could have do that after the game and the credits or something. Now I'm just left here. Did I do this? Hello, sir. You work with the government? Or do I get new stranger missions now? Sure, son. <clears throat> Why you ask? Did you work with a man named Edgar Ross? I have something for him. Edgar Ross? No, but well knew of him. A fine man if he wanted results. Won himself a chest full of medals. I think he went and retired about a year ago. Last I heard, him and his wife moved out to a cabin on Lake Don. Lake Don, Julio. Don Julio. Lucky guy, getting to take it easy. He's fighting crime in this dump, that's for sure. <clears throat> a 
Thank you for the information, mister. Oh, he just sold him out. He about to die. Go find Edgar Ross near Lake Don Julio. Wait, I thought that was just something I didn't... Remember my family. Ain't this where Irish led me? This is where Irish led me. Oh, almost shot you. Who are you? You the wife? Excuse me, ma'am. Hello, young man. Hi. What are you doing out here? Are you out visiting the lake with your family? Uh, no. Ma'am. I was looking to deliver a letter to Edgar Ross. Oh, that husband of mine. That bureau just won't get its talons out of him, even though he's retired. Edgar gave them some of the best years of his life. They ought to let him retire in peace. They'll not rest till they've killed him with worry, and he's such a sensitive man. I'm sorry, I shouldn't get so angry. I don't suppose any of this is your fault. There's no need to worry about him nowadays. Well, where is he? He and his brother Philip went hunting on the south side of the San Luis River. Be careful crossing over. They were saying it was dangerous. I sure will, ma'am. And don't worry about a thing. I'm sure your husband will be just fine. Just fine. Incredibly fine. You don't get to live a bad life and have good things happen to you. Do you remember it? Hey there, mister. How's the hunting? Oh, pretty good, son. Got me a few rabbits, coyote, elk. Still looking for some trophies for the parlor. I've got a letter here for Edgar Ross. You know him? I, I heard he was down in these parts with his wife. Of I know him. He's my brother. Gone down river, duck hunt. Must be a pretty important letter to have come all this way. It is really important. Yes, sir. Real important. I'll be on my way home as soon as I deliver this message. You best be off then. Just don't get on his bad side. He's got a filthy temper. I've seen him before. Spit on your gun? Edgar won't be back here for a while. It's okay. <laughs> you won't come back, period. Neither will you. Excuse me. Edgar? You Edgar? <gasps> Do I know you? Give me for Starlin, you sir. I have a message for you. My name is Jack Marston. You knew my father. <laughs> I see. I remember your father. I've come for you, Ross. Just shoot him, bro. And you, boy, have sure shit found me. You killed my father. What are we doing? Your father killed himself with the life he lived. Kill him. You killed him. I saw you. He has a. You keep saying that. He has a double barrel. Kill him. You sent him to do your dirty work. Then you shot him like a dog. And I'll shoot you like one too, you little piece of trash. Now get out of here before I kill you as well. I ain't going nowhere, old man. Shoot him. Are you really about to duel? Edgar Ross. Cool duel. <laughs> GG's motherfucker. GG's. GG's! GG's! You're dead! He's dead! Ooh! Ooh! With the pistol he gave me, uh, Or gave- With the pistol he gave his father! That thing does not look right in there. Talk to him! Where's the music at? No music? Where the music at? Red Dead Redemption 1. 
We are finally done. I don't even want to say finally, bro. What the hell? <laughs> John Marston's story was incredible. Arthur's story was incredible. Jack's story, I don't know if there's more. I don't know. If, does that count as an epilogue? They Because they don't really have chapters in this. But they just gave me a title screen. So I'm guessing the game is done. This game, bro. This game was incredible. I know at the start I was hating, but that's just because I wanted to get to the characters from Red Dead Redemption 2. Hey man, don't hate me. You hate me, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but at the end it came through. Oh, like I could I could yap for like an hour, but I don't want I don't want to yap for that long, bro. I got things I want to record today and and get done with. This is just really great. You know, this series has like made my channel go to a different height. And the fact that there's a chance we might, what's the word, consistently stay here for a while is just insane to me. Or we might even grow even more with the next series. Who knows? All I know is I want to take a break after I get done with all these Red Dead Redemption games. It might be a week or two. Who knows? I want to play some short games too. Like maybe... Octo Dad. I want to play some either indie games or some short, like one hour, two hour games and finish. I want to play something short. But RIP to our fallen legends, man. I'm not going to name them all because if I forget somebody, everybody's going to be on my head and I'm not doing that again, okay? F Dutch, F Micah, especially F Bill, and F Javier for what he said about my kids. I hope you rot in hell. Yeah. I hope you rot in hell. And with that, that's the end of this video. Love you guys. Make sure you have a great day. Video's coming out soon. Yeah. Make sure to smile. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter if you want to. Members on the screen right now. Shout out to all the members. It only costs a dollar if you want to support me. You don't have to. I appreciate it either way. Anyway, we're done. Puerto Rico.